every place I... Uh, I don't remember how that goes. Parappa deep cut. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. That's right. Bugs night. Bugs night. Oh, no. Heat wave. How bad is it? Oh, yeah. We gave Elderbug the flower. I'm so glad we did that. Gosh, golly. Okay. Thinking about where to go. Looking at sounded good so far. Excellent. Sorry about the intermittent controller noises. I do need to find a way to filter those out. Baby steps. It's just nice to be able to stream again. Let's see. Uh, well, I guess since we have here, I don't have to worry about selling things to Lem like I was thinking of. So let's go to... What is the quickest way to get... Uh, let's go to the resting grounds, I think, is the quickest way to get where I want to go. In the 90s, ugh. It's about 30 degrees here, which is intolerable. Gross. How much essence do we have? Because I think we do get a thing at 300. Oh, 250. Maybe I should be doing the collect the red coins, huh? Oh well. Hello, Don. Oh, and hello, Kelly. I didn't properly say hello. How is Sasha taking the heat? I assume she's still sprawled out. I don't know why I stopped dashing. Sprawled out on her side instead of loafing. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I understand how slots work. Here we go. I could barely reach that. I wish we got to see the knight actually jump up and slam that pass into the slot. Okay. Sprawling under the coffee table. Oh. I feel you, Sasha. After a certain point when it's really hot, all you can really do is sprawl out in your underwear and pray for death. Oh, wait, this isn't where I. Ah, oh, crap. I got my rail stations mixed up. That's not the one I wanted. Ah. Oh. oh, I wanted the one down here. Uh, what is the quickest way to get to this one? I guess if we go to the King Station and drop down. Well, that's just inconvenient. Uh, there's so much backtracking, or just tracking, period. Dang. Well, the station for here in the Forgotten Crossroads is nearby, so I'll climb up. Okay, getting warmed up, getting my bearings. Did not, thought about playing Celeste earlier, didn't. So we all know how well that went. Yeah, I was surprised at how, hang on, this is, did I already get the grub in here? Oh, I didn't. Well, you know what, this is a good detour. Yeah, I was surprised at how large this, oops, this game was. I mean, again, a tiny development team, so really impressive. Oh, no! That was not impressive, in contrast. Here we go. Got the inaugural baby of the stream. Everything is good. How's everybody else doing, since I have not had the opportunity to, opportunity to ask? Not in the midst of your own respective heat waves, I hope. It's still unseasonably warm here, but not quite as bad as it's been? Ish. It's been about 14 Celsius, which is still warm, but not as, like, around 17 like it was prior. Hello, Joe. Okay. Oh, gosh, I hope this stream can help ease your anxiety a little bit. Give you some nice company of me jumping into spikes. That brightens up everybody's day, right? Overcast in the 20s. Okay, overcast is good. 20s getting a little hot for me. This is going to be confusing for people watching the recording and probably trying to figure out, wait, is she talking Celsius or Fahrenheit? I'm sure you esteemed listeners, watchers, can figure it out. Oh, I thought I had an upgrade that I don't have. 
guess I gotta boing off that guy. Excuse me. Boy, guys, you, you guys are all cooking, huh? Okay, this is ancient Basin territory, right? Is it? I think. Yeah, pretty sure it is. Yes. Okay, don't land on the spikes. Do not land on the spikes. At some point, remind me to pull out the Grim Child and take him on an outing. A field trip, if you will. Since clearly their dad is not going to do anything of the sort. I guess if you're some kind of immortal vampire, presumably... Well, I was gonna say you don't have time for childbirth, but no, if you're- if you're childbirth- child rearing, but I mean, if you're immortal, you have all the time in the world for child rearing. So why are you foisting your kid off on me? Do I look qualified? Like, look at me, I'm practically a child myself, I think. Tiny equals child, right? Well, hello, Bao Bao. I want an update on everyone's pets. Very important. Maybe he thinks you can relate because our ages are close. You know what? You might be onto something. Ah, uh, that range is too big. Oh, that was totally on me, though. Hello, bag tree. Hello only to all the bugs, though. Nobody else, right? I really should use my spells more often. There we go. I wonder what Willow's looking wistful about. I was gonna say, maybe she's also thinking about bugs, but... She probably just wants to eat them. Does Willow ever catch bugs? One of our old cats caught a moth out of midair once. Usually he just loafed around. He was basically the cat equivalent of a stoner. So it was very impressive that he managed to do it. Oh! Hey, Cloth! My friend, you dealt with all those beasts? I'm ashamed to say I was hiding. Those ghastly things chased me and I ran. If you hadn't come along, who knows if I'd ever survived. Others take me for a fearsome warrior. But with my impressive size, but this kingdom's beasts, I wonder if I'm just no match for them. Uh -huh! Atta girl! Bakuza. Enough! I cannot wallow in my weakness. I must take strength from your example. You act so confident in battle. You show no fear before your foes. I'll try my best to do the same. Ah, uh, Cloth. I look forward to our next contact, tiny savior. Then you'll meet a warrior with courage to match your own. Cloth, you're so good. Such luck! This tiny one appears at just the right moment. And what masterful skills it shows! As a warrior, it sets powerful precedent. I do well to learn from its form. Well, thank you. I mean, you could say that stuff out loud instead of keeping it to yourself. But I get it. It's hard to say nice things to people sometimes because you get all shy about it. And think, oh, am I being too forward? Ah, jeez. Maybe that's just me. Okay, I need some space. Speaking of being too forward. Oh, I'm out of soul. Uh. Jeez. Luke's lifetime kill count is two. Yeah, you know, I thought it was just one, so that's better than what I was thinking. Yeah, this area does look a little icky, doesn't it? Oh, pale ore! Heck yeah! What else is down here? Exploding. Oh, I love it when they take each other out. I don't get any soul for it, though. Nope. I found if you time it, you can whack those guys in midair without taking the damage, but it's not really worth it. Whoa! Ayo! feel bad if not quite looking at the chat right now because there's so many ugh, I'm out of soul. So many good stories about cats hunting or failing to hunt things. Okay, uh I'll go sit in a bench. 
and make those enemies respawn. Uh, oh yeah, okay, the rail car. This is the railway I was thinking about. Oh no! I'm glad the gecko got away. Minus its tail. Cosmo has not had the opportunity to hunt stuff, I think. I mean, I've seen him, like, if he sees an insect of some, insect of some sort, he'll paw at it. Um, or at least try to, but he's not very aggressive about it. Like, he'll lose interest quickly. Some mighty hunter. He does like tossing around his catnip pouch, though, so maybe if insects smelled of catnip, we'd be in business. I gotta go turn that pale ore in, but we have to save this baby first. Uh. Hey. Oh, Sasha brought in a cricket. Good job, Sasha. I mean, I feel bad for the cricket. Honestly, I feel bad for any insect that a cat catches. But I'm very soft-hearted like that. Okay, thinking. So I want to turn this pale ore in. Um, what's the fastest way again? I think I'd have to go to the kingdom's edge. <sighs> I mean, I could go on without turning it in, I guess. But, oh, I want that extra attack power. It would take so long. Ah, to heck with it. Let's just press forward. Cat with no claws and severe cataracts killed a whole bunch of mice. That's impressive. Ah, that was not impressive. Okay, I gotta not look at the chat for a bit. Couldn't even walk in a straight line. That's maybe... Did he have a really acute sense of smell, maybe? Or like an aged swordsman. Okay. I feel like I need some Eurobeat playing. Uh, that got me quite a few times, those spikes. Hmm. So I want to go down, I want to go up. Let's, let's keep going this way. Or not. Never mind, I guess. Hey, what the... Oh, I got one of them. Oh yeah, maybe the cat was just so unpredictable that the mice did not expect the randomness. Has anyone actually calculated their pet's HP with that Brian David Gilbert video? Uh, you know, I don't have to fight this. I don't get anything for killing it. Uh, yet I feel compelled at least this one. I say that, but it has 8,000 hit points. There we go. I keep forgetting I can do this stuff. Wait, that's not right. There we go. Ah. I feel like there should be a running count of how many times I fall into spikes. Hey, hey, hey. Luke's a cleric because he's harmless and dumb, but very supportive. I like this. I seem to recall after watching that video ugh, that I decided Cosmo would be some sort of rogue. He's a good boy, but he's very mischievous. And like, if he does something that he's not supposed to, he knows. And he'll look guilty about it if you... Yeah, let's just go inside here, why not? He'll look guilty about this if you confront him. Mine. Yep, you sure did. Get a key, and now your corpse is rotting away in this infected thing. I believe they're called brooding mollocks. Uh, I have to fight this thing to get by. Probably don't have to. But, uh, 
Cosmo does have a knowledge of right and wrong and then chooses to ignore it. Like if you catch him scratching at the stairs, which he's not supposed to, he'll stop abruptly and he'll he'll stare at you and then he'll abruptly bolt. And uh it's like you don't have to raise your voice to go, Cosmo! Or just you just look at him and go, Cosmo, and he knows what he's done. No shame. Oh, you try to reprimand Luke and he's just, buh? Oh, what? Get off. You know, there's a charm I kind of wish I had before coming here, but that's okay. Anything? For being a basin, this isn't very sink like. Okay. Oops. Hmm. Kind of see a resemblance. A little bit. Is it just me? Kind of busted, though. Oh. doing? Oh, good. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, then we're spinning. No, really? Oh, that was embarrassing. Yeah, I appreciate how that guy is weighed down by all the orange goop. You know what I could do is like some clever mid-maxing here. Hmm. How risky do I want to be? Yeah, okay. Risky biz. Yeah, how dare it. That's okay, it's a warm-up. It's still early into the stream. Not today, Spikes. At least not right now. Maybe later. Good. Very good. That is a great start. Okay. Get back in. my mistakes here. I like what they do with the music here. This game makes good use of uh, late motifs, if you've noticed. I probably could have spun there, huh? I'd rather play it safe. I'd like to eat as few deaths as possible in this game. You know? Gotta look good for the public. Oh, okay, that was bad timing. Yeah. Uh -oh. 
getting greedy. Okay, playing it safe, playing it safe. whacking with the nail on its back or if it was whacking me with its horns. Oh. Oh. I feel a little bad. Well, you're free now. I think. Nothing? Okay. Down we go. Ooh. What an interesting statue, too. Consume the monarch wings. Use these ethereal wings to sail above enemies and discover new paths. Hata. I just look over to the chap. What is... What is Gorp? I mean, someone's just... Explained it. Raisins and peanuts? I have never heard the word Gorp. For a sec, I thought people were talking about... Gorb from the previous stream. And just getting his name wrong. Oh! Well, I gotta. I guess Gorp is an East Coast thing. What do you mean, oh no? I don't remember the most efficient way to get there. Oh, it's there. Lost kin, interesting. Kinda wish I had turned in that pale ore. do that too, I heal and then it winds up meeting nothing. Totally forgot I could do that. Don't jump into me. You jack and apes. Saw that coming. into him. Uh, uh, that's depressing. You guys don't mind if I try again, right? I mean, I think I was making good progress, even though my nail sucks. If this doesn't work, I'll look into a nail upgrade. Oh, no. Dang it. I said it kicks me out of the dream, at least. Oh, thanks. I just gotta not dash into stuff. Which, you know, easier said than done. If you haven't noticed, I'm very good at dashing into stuff. Oh my, are you kidding me? Well, 
Boy, I missed a lot of the checks. I was focused on that guy. Cousin who worked at Wendy's said co-workers picked up have a good one out of all the nonsense service industry phrases. Picked it up first. Okay, never mind. I gotta focus. Good. Very good. Good start. Oh, what is happening? Ah, oh, good. Maybe I should just take the death. No, no, that's quitters. That's quitter talking. These little orange blobs. Oh, there's a charm that makes them easier to deal with, but I don't have it, so... upgrade my nail and come back. That would be the more sensible option. So that way I get rid of this guy faster. Ah, uh, And then I walk into your basic enemy. One of your managers a long time ago when people were being assholes would just say, oh, have a day! That's pretty good. reminds me of my dad telling me how um because he would uh work in hiring people and sometimes other companies would call and ask for references um about someone and i don't know about uh, elsewhere but here um legally you can't say anything bad about the person even if they're the worst employee you've ever had because it can be considered uh slander so you find a way to sort of damn them with faint praise, if you will. Oh man, this is going to be a drag to get back to. And one of the best things you could say is, so like, can you, what can you tell me about this person? Like, well, they sure did work here from X day to Y day. I see. Actually, you know what? There's a Stagway station I can reach now. So is that not a thing in the States? Like, if somebody calls you for a reference and they're the worst employee you've ever had. You can be rude. Oops. God. Brazen, frazen. Yeah, we gotta say hello to the stag. Palace grounds. A corpse in white armor. Huh. Weird. Our nail doesn't seem to work on it. Well, that's inconvenient. Oh. That's also inconvenient. Hidden station. Yes, yes, yes. I'll pay your exorbitant toll. All right, I'll have to ding dong. Ding dong. Hey. Yeah. Uh, what station is this, hidden all the way at the bottom of the world? Until I heard the bell calling, I didn't even know the stagways traveled so deep. You've discovered something quite astounding, little one. No matter how old I grow, the world still keeps surprises like this stowed away. The world is a nice place sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes. Okay, let's go to the city storerooms. Okay, it's a it's a fair price to make an old grandpa beetle happy. If all the geo I've been putting into toll stations is going towards grandpa stag there, then I'll be okay with it. I mean, I guess all that upholstery probably costs a pretty penny. Doing. I don't have to fight those guys. Goodbye. Don't leap into me, you... 
Okay. All right, I'm not wearing my compass. I need to go to the right anyway. It's so disorienting. Ugh. Too late to put my compass back on, though. Rude. What is with me today? Goodness gracious. It's been a weird day, I guess. Except not really. Today's been okay. Uh-oh. Nope, nope. The elevators have spikes on top of them for some reason. Maybe some daredevils are riding on the top and they decided no more. No more fun allowed. I'm just gonna sit at the bench and heal. I like this bench better when Coral was on it. Okay, keep dropping, keep dropping down, and then we go left. You know, I could get the charm that makes that fight a little easier. Because I believe it's in the Royal Waterways, but I don't want to get too sidetracked. But also, fighting the lost kin there is sort of an extra thing. Decisions, decisions. And I do want to go back to the Colosseum with an upgraded nail, so... Hello. Uh, oh, you've returned. I see you have some pale ore. A rare, fine metal, that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Ugh. That's a lot of dollary dues. As you wish. I'll get to work then. Well, we made another beetle happy, I guess. There we go. The reforging is complete. I've added a channel to your nail. It should cut much more efficiently. You'll find it stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its blade against your foes. Yeah, smithing is hard work. I'll give him that. That I don't mind paying. Though I don't know what he's going to spend it on down here. Maybe Sly does, like, delivery. I hate to be the courier that has to make the trip down here. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go across. And not crystal dash into the wall. Three hits now. That's nice. Probably should put my compass back on at some point. If I'm not going to a boss fight right away, but... Eh. Brush more bugs, make more geo. Okay. Use a simple key. Yes, I will. Ooh. Elaborate locks for your manhole covers. Elaborate manhole covers. Elaborate waterways. I mean, look at these pillars. <laughs> well, I felt kind of bad about that. What do you mean, oh no, this place? I don't think this place was that bad. Was it? Maybe my memory's foggy. Oh, hey! Don't take something if it isn't yours. That's the law. Everything you see, it belongs to me. Don't be angry. I'll share my food with you. If you give me Geo. Uh, okay. Sure, I could use a sandwich. Lift it up and shove it under my mask. This geo is mine now. Don't try to take it back. Here, take your food with you when you leave. Oh, don't throw it on the ground. It's... Oh. You know what? I guess the ground is probably the best place for that. I'll find you again. The water will bring you to me. I just need to keep searching and praying. When we meet again, I want you to say... That you're sorry. Ah, uh, well, I feel a little bad. But also, that's a lot of money for a rotten egg. It is a good line. I really have no reason to hit these things. They're not aggressive, but... I just like the way they deflate. I think it's funny. 
did. Yeah, say you're sorry, Tuck. I don't know, maybe they, they really do eat rancid eggs. And I'm n in no position to criticize. I don't know what this, this little friend eats. What are those noises? Somebody's choking. Oh. Whoa. Hey. Okay, I see where this is. I don't know why I'm gonna like bo I'm bothering to fight them if I don't even get the geo they drop. I mean, I do need money to pay all these tolls. No. Is somebody having a party? A party all by themselves? It's a safe party for right now. Whoa. This guy's having a good time. Uh, that is me not having a good time. No! It always kind of sounds like he's saying, like, don't mind in Japanese. Don't mind, don't mind. I wish we could all be this enthusiastic about something. Whoa. Ya ha ha, I found him. Yeah, when you do what you love, it's not a job. I don't know, I guess I've never rolled dung balls. Maybe I should knock it without trying it. He's having so much fun. And now Team Dung Beetle's blasting off again! He's fine. Cool. I love hitting mysterious switches and levers when I have no idea what they actually do. That's responsible, right? Still don't have a map. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, I hope you're having fun wherever you flew off, Dung Beetle friend. Nobody's home, but interesting sculptures you got back here. This one in particular looks a little familiar. And around with big horns. Oh, you've never seen it, Rue? Well, remind me to come back later for some suffering. Yeah, it's not a well-telegraphed little spot.
Uh, I didn't even, oops, hang on, touch on the charm that I picked up. The Defender's Crest, nothing's gonna jump on me, right? Uh, unique charm bestowed by the King of Hallownest to his most loyal knight. Scratched and dirty, but still cared for, causes the bearer to emit a heroic odor. Oops. Well, more importantly, um, so if you remember from before, there were five great knights that served the King of Hallownest, but nobody knows who they are or what happened to them. But, well, smells like heroism. What do you think heroism smells like? Boy, I hope I didn't just go in a circle because I'm distracted thinking about the smell of heroism. Okay, no, we're good. Ah! Get off! Oh, that's acid. Now it's a sewer level. Oh, no! Yeah, one night was smelly. That's all we know. A hint of leather. So, what, are there, there cows down here? I know that's not what you're getting at when you say it smelled like a bit of leather, but... Now I'm thinking that there's, like, cow-esque bugs that we skin. Sweat. Specific smell of scrub stainless steel. Uh-oh. Nope. I gotta tell you, when I played on the Switch, I missed this area for quite a long time. Why those guys weren't hurting anybody? They were just being goofy. Ugh. Those seats on an old stag don't upholster themselves. Oh no! What are those seats made out of? Oh, now I'm concerned and confused. Only those who prove their honor in combat may enter the grove beyond. The Defender. Hmm. I think we proved ourselves right. Cloth. Well, I mean, now I'm just thinking of our cicada friend. I mean, she does have some sort of sack on her head. I guess that has to be made out of some sort of fabric. No. Nope. Okay, not that way. Stop that. Ah. Oh. Maybe this is what they mean by proving their honor in combat. Oh, I'm so glad I have that upgraded nail. <sighs> so much more efficient. Ah! Baby alert. Where is it? Don't cry. I'm coming for you. Probably. Isma's Grove. Consumed Isma's tear. Acid shall be repelled. Swim in acidic waters without coming to any harm. Slurp. Ocarim, there's no time. Oh. You look a little in in source ensconced in vines, ensorcelled, whatever. I'm immune now, and so is my cape for some reason. <sighs> Woohoo! Everything was right with the world until we find the next crying baby. I really love the noise the grubs make. I'm just gonna heal just in case before I embarrass myself further. Is there anything important up here? Oh, we can see a tube filled with the liquid that I set loose. Boy. I'm looting. Don't interrupt me when I'm looting.
I'll take this, whatever this is. What are, what is going on in here? Oh, hello. Oh, what a surprise. It's not often I receive visitors. It's been so long, ages even. I just hope my manners haven't left me. You've no doubt sensed my affluence. You're right to guess I'm renowned amongst the upper caste of Hallownest. Well, I was, once, until those Cretans cast me out. Have you met them, my former fellows? That's them outside, their bodies shambling around all mindless and empty. And I'm still alive to witness their pathetic demise. Ah, I'm just so happy. Fate can be a wonderful thing. You're a little rude. Whoa. Isn't life just wonderful? No doubt this one will meet its demise at the nails of the city's guards. I'll outlive you too, little grub, as I did all the others. Just gonna sit in your dilapidated house all by yourself, kicking your toes and giggling. Yeah, madam, you are something else. Oh, well, we're here now. Oops, I didn't mean to go back in there. Oh, well. There's one house around here. I forget which one it is. I'm so glad we have these monarch wings. It makes things so much easier. Do I want to use a simple key here? I've only got the two. There's another one I can get near the Colosseum. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask who heard her, but she told us. Songstress Marissa, a voice to ease all burdens and still all troubled minds. Oh, we're here. Pleasure house, huh? Welcome to my stage, little one. I am Marissa, a songstress of some renown. Though given the sorry state of this place, you may find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing, then something changed. The audience, once so enwrapped, began to leave. I continued to sing, yet my voice fell silent upon their ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing? You'll be the first in an age to hear it. Okay, so here's Wonderwall. Okay. Even if only you, it's a wonderful thing to have an audience again. No, I'm not gonna dream mail her, if you're wondering, with the marks around her. I did in my other game, and she just vanishes. And you get one essence for it. And you feel like a monster. Hmm. Hot spring. Cool. I guess this place might be worth remembering. Why well, I'm all the way up here. Yeah, gosh, the resting grounds are just above. Let's see. So I've got the nail upgrade now. Um, there is stuff I want to do in the Kingdom's Edge. Uh, and that would lead into the Ancient Basin. I could take on the Colosseum. And then I'll come back to the Ancient Basin once I've done the things in the Kingdom's Edge that I gotta do. And then we'll fight the Lost King again. Good? Good. Okay. Break. Just making sure I got my bearings here. Okay. I'm gonna drop. Ah, uh, Really? Out of all the things I could have landed on? Come on. At least this elevator doesn't have spikes on it. Probably should, like, get my compass in order at some point, but... Is there anything important above me? I guess I can look real quick. 
sidetracked though. Just a bunch of rich people. A lot of rich people. And their personal guards. Ah. Cool music though. Love those variable mixes. Ah. You almost committed the cardinal sin of spawning on top of me. There better be something good here. Oh. That's pretty good. Okay. This is a worthwhile detour. Now I gotta ride the elevator again. I think I'm skipping over a lot of stuff just in the interest of streaming uh Effectively, efficiently. Just so I don't bore people by spending all my time investigating every little nook and cranny. Ugh. Terrible. I mean, if you guys would like more exploration, I can certainly deliver. I just don't want to be wasting folks' time, you know? This game has some cool lore, so I want to get on with it, ideally. Okay. Yeah, I guess combing over every inch of the game is more appropriate. I mean, that's how I do Breath of the Wilds. Get sidetracked all the time. I know you probably meant to say cool lore, but I like cool law. I am a knight of justice. I mean, probably. Okay, so I want to climb. There's probably a quicker way to the Colosseum from that upper route in the City of Tears, isn't it? But, oh well, we're here now. I'll take that. Ace Attorney has cool law. Does it? I mean... I don't know if Phoenix is cool, and Edgeworth definitely isn't, well, definitely isn't cool. And I don't mean that as a slight. Like, I love Phoenix and Edgeworth, but neither of those men are anything even remotely approaching cool. Nor should they. Okay, Taka is cool. Taka is the only cool law in the, in the game. Black Quill, not cool. Again, I love Black Quill, but he's a big weeb. Yeah, take that back, Boogie. Black Quill is absolutely not cool. Dang it, in any sense of the word. There's a place I want to... Okay, no, that just leads up to a baby. There's a place I want to get to here, and I feel like I'm forgetting the exact route to get there. Yeah, Taka is legit, nobody else. I've already been around there. Okay, it's above it. Well, I really should have gotten my compass. Mm -hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. This is gonna come back and bite me in the tail, isn't it? Not having my compass. Well, hello, Jeff Saw. I'm saying that right. Welcome aboard. Okay, I gotta stop reading the chat. Wouldn't that look bad if somebody walked in just to see me get chumped by a basic enemy? Terrible. Yeah, me is pretty cool for a lady that got murdered by an idiot. Yeah, I need my compass. That's fine. Maybe I'll stumble my way to the correct spot and everything will be fine. Or we'll just end up back at Oro's place. The rude uncle. I think this leads to rude uncle. <laughs> yep, 
These folks don't know about the get good yet. But eventually. You mean don't be a donk? Oh, there's a bench right here. That's my whole MO. Okay. Take that off, boy. I need some more charm notches. I'll put that back on. What else would make my life easier right now? I can see where I am. Sweet, sweet mercy. I'll tell all you folks about get good when we get there. If you will. I'm gonna ban myself from my own stream for that terrible remark. I keep threatening to do it. Someday. I'll make a joke so, so bad that I'll be forced ejected from Twitch. What you should do is invest in more BP and then use all your badge slots on badges that give you more HP and then wonder why you did that. I feel like your Paper Mario experience may not be universal. I was all about the attack power and finding ways to game the system. Which, granted, you couldn't do a lot of in Paper Mario unless you did, like, the peril strat. Oh, I hate these guys. I guess I should stop trying to go past everything and fight. I was never brave enough to do the Danger Mario strategy because there's that fear of, like, you mess up once and then you gotta reload and walk all the way back and I don't have the time for that. Oh, your brother's experience. Yeah, hammer throw is legit. You take way too many hits. Okay, now that I have the monarch wings, I can get places. Oh. Without hammer throw, what are you gonna do when Junior Trooper comes back with a hat? I mean, he already had a hat on, but, you know. With a spike on it. Is Ash trapped? Ooh, a hammock. I have played this game before on the Switch. Uh, just uh, like a month ago-ish. I got 106% completion on that, so I did most of it. Most things I didn't do, I was just too lazy to bother with. Especially the, the Godmaster mode. I'm not a fan of boss rushes. Anywho, my only request is no spoiler, since most of the other people here have not experienced this game before, so... Oh! Orna, come back! Gosh, I'd love to stream Paper Mario at some point, too. I was thinking about it earlier. But I think the next thing I'll do may be uh, the second Frog Detective game. It's been too long since I've gotten to do dumb voices. So you'd pursue the deeper truth? It isn't one the weak could bear. Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal, and I'd feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. Oops. Okay, no looking at chat. Sorry if I miss your messages. Ugh. some of God Home. There is a part of God Home. This is what I have to do that I would like to stream. Hmm. Yeah, that was a silly death. No more looking at the chat. There we go. Yeah, there's... So, for those uh, unaware, so God Home is essentially boss rushes 
upon boss rushes. Which is an interesting diversion for a while, but, you know, like when you get to the point where you have to fight every boss in the game in sequence, uh, uh, it takes so long. Um, but there's a really cool little Easter egg in God Home that I'd love to show off. I appreciate you just cutting to the chase, Hornet. chat got home a little tedious but I find boss rushes in most games kind of tedious what is with all these rookie mistakes my goodness Ugh. It's been forever since I've played Ocarina of Time 3D. Did they, like, do anything special in the boss rush? Because I don't remember. Like, were they harder versions of themselves? Rookie <laughs> uh. mistake again. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Do I want to change my charms further? Not gonna look at the chat next time. Mm. I guess this one, just so I don't do dumb stuff. There we go. What is the worst boss in Ocarina of Time, everybody? I want to know your thoughts. I'm trying to think of which one. You know, I didn't like the Phantom Ganon fight. I mean, conceptually it was cool, but... I don't know, just actually doing the fight was a little tedious. Okay, get back in my skull. Thank you. Least fun or most difficult? I mean, either or. Okay, I gotta focus now. Not do that. Not do that. Goodness me. I don't know, Morpha, I mean, once you get, like, if you stand in the corner, Morpha can't really reach you. Hmm. I wish I had enough charm notches to do both quick slash and steady body. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have... Nah, it's fine. Yeah, Baronade's not great. Anything where, like, a boss can regenerate if you don't attack it fast enough and get irksome. But, I mean... 2D Zelda's for life, so... Okay, no more chat. Focus. Ugh. Seriously? 
You want to know something really silly is that I beat her my first time when I played this on the Switch. So I don't know why I'm having trouble all of a sudden. Weird. Don't worry, I got this. I just gotta focus. No, I don't want that. Hmm. Wish I had more charms. If I was really smart, well, I don't have the one that boosts the power of my spells. I think if I use them more often, that would be smarter. I remember when I first played Ocarina of Time, uh, not to date myself, but when it first came out, like I have a, the gold cartridge. When I was but a wee Mori, uh, the only time I died in Ocarina of Time was against Goma, because I don't think I really understood Z targeting. And I beat the rest of the game just fine, but that was always like a mar a mark on my save file was the zero the one zero zero one from the Goma fight. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, focus.
There we go. Jeez, that was embarrassing. Let's never speak of that again. From where does it draw this strength? So strong. You could do it if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception and knowing yourself? Then do it, ghost of Hallow Nest. Head onward. Burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king. Huh. That's right, got it in one. <laughs> <sighs> huh. Cool. We've been stepping into a lot of gaping maws today, aren't we? Cast off shell. Hmm. There's like a smaller egg. Marked by King's Brand. Hallowness shall recognize a new ruler. The kingdom's gates will open. Uh oh. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. It's Metroid now. Ah! As if it wasn't Metroid already. Oh. Thank you. What do you mean you looked away? How does it go in Super Metroid? Da 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 and then I forget the rest, but Okay, that's cool. Yeah, now we owe her one. Okay, I'm gonna put my compass back on. Sure. What are you trying to draw, Carrie? Yeah, we lost a race against a collapse. It was, wasn't really a tunnel. It was... So, something. It was called Cast Off Shell, yes. When will Primal Aspids go away? I'll hit it with a spin attack, I said. That'll be fun, I said. Yeah, collapsing guy. With a smaller egg in the back. Okay. I see you looking at me. You should draw a hornet, Carrie. Our rival. Draw our cool rival. I mean, she's she's a true rival because she saved us from certain deaths, so. Whoa. Stop with the corpses. I do want to go to the Colosseum, but there's something I want in the ancient basin. Boy, this is a lot of back and forth. Rick and Marvel, would it be faster if I just dropped all the way down? Nah, not really. She's much cooler than us, it's true. Well, okay, I'm not gonna look at chat, because then I forget where I'm going, and I start trying to dash into a wall, and going, why isn't this working? Weird. Why, today has just been a mess, huh? After I went through most of the game without dying much, and then the Hornet fight happened, which, again, I beat the, the first try on the Switch, so I don't know what's going on. Have I been up here? Yes, I have. This is where we came from. Well, our little buddy here has no gender, but Hornet's a gal. Thinking. Yeah, let's just... after that embarrassing display. I don't know what would be suitable, though. Get good indeed. 
Every time I go in this tunnel, I think I gotta take the Grim Child out on a field trip. Where would a weird, ambiguously vampiric bug child want to go on a field trip? Do they like the zoo? I mean, everybody likes the zoo, right? Well, good night, Joe. Take care. Carnifer and Iselda have the genders of friend and exasperated, respectively. <laughs> They probably would enjoy a corpse, wouldn't they? I mean, what child doesn't enjoy a fresh corpse? I really... I was gonna say, I really hope I don't land on anything pointy. Ah! I mean, that thing is kind of pointy, so that counts. I hope I don't land on anything, you know, with unpleasant textures. Oh, just barely missed it. So, I'll read this again, just in case you forgot what it says. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond only lies the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. Lies only, whatever. Cool. I don't know this King's Brand let me dissolve doors. <sighs> I have a gift for that. Huh. Interesting. Some corpses. I mean, a lot of little corpses in this game, but... earlier shell thing was a result of the vessel ascension. Maybe. Oh, there's more of them. I guess I'll get that Geo Rocks. If I don't, it's gonna bother me. That also bothers me. Looks like a big Senate-like chamber in the background, huh? I like hearing your impressions of things. Or town with tiny homes. More corpses. More corpses. Corpses. Cor oh my, indeed. here bother to clean up after themselves. I mean, maybe this is where you put stuff when you cleaned it out. You dump it into the abyss. Oh. Notice when I hit these, I'm not getting any soul. platform. How do I do that? Not getting any geo either, cheap brats. Well, take care, Don. I hope you, you feel better in the morning and that we can do something about your anxiety. Or rather, this has done something for your anxiety. Uh, I really wanted to fight more of these to get the... Uh, the, the journal entry for it, but I guess I shouldn't push my luck, huh? Turn it off. Cannot. My king, I'm sorry. The sea calls.
You used to get out of awkward uh, situations by saying the sea was calling me. I like the cut of your jib, which, you know, is sea-related, right? So, huh? I gotta use that one. I have to practice my wistful look, though. Shame Joe's not here. It's basically like a Chozo statue, isn't it? Bath time. Absorb the Shade Cloak. Use the cloak to dash through enemies and their attacks without taking damage. Finally, some good power-ups. Hmm. There's like a little ward on it. Splashing in muck. Lem will buy that. I don't know what he wants with an arcane egg, but I'm not gonna question it. We're like a little bird playing in the bath. I can't see this Chozo's thoughts. Probably space bird thoughts. Well, I don't know what space birds think about. What is the last bench I sat at? Because I think it would be quicker if I just saved and quit. Dang it, so I didn't have to climb back out of the abyss. Unless you guys want to see me climb back out of the abyss, but you're not missing anything. I want the hunter's journal on you guys. You guys are not interesting and are apparel to my toes. Huh. Our voices will cry out again. Unfortunately, we can't do anything here yet, but remember it's there. Anyway, cool. I'm just gonna, oops, save and quit, so I don't have to climb back out of the abyss. Don't worry, you're not missing much. Ah, oh, no, is this where it saves? Ah, oh, heck. Well, the cloak has to regenerate. Sorry, everybody. I guess you have to watch me climb at it out of the abyss. This is just a train wreck, isn't it? Like, the whole last half hour has been a train wreck. I mean, we stepped on some corpses. I guess that was cool. Like, the floor made of dead bodies. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't flail at me. What do you want me to do about it? I can barely take care of my own problems. See? Case in point. I could get the entry in that hunter's journal, yeah. So I hope I don't accidentally die by walking into one. Since they do do two masks of health. I mean, I will have to come back here to deal with the thing in that room. How many more? Okay, if it's not in two more, then I'll just leave. No soul. Oh, there it is. No geo. I'll pull it up when they're not about to charge at me. So this one's interesting. Sibling. Fragment of a lingering will. Far down below us, beneath the kingdom, the air grows stiller and a sense of emptiness pervades. 
Can life flourish down there? If so, I will hunt it. Curious. I wonder what that means. They are cute when they're not exploding on me for two masks of damage. Something about, like, glowing eyes against blackness is kind of cute. Although I don't find the Heartless from Kingdom Hearts cute, but maybe because I don't find Kingdom Hearts cute. Or fun. Or endearing. I'm sorry, no shade against people who like Kingdom Hearts. Simply not my cup of tea. Or my bag of potatoes, if we're going by that thing I said by accident. I wonder if that'll catch on. Not my bag of potatoes. Probably not. I mean, the Heartless designs aren't, nope, aren't bad, just, I don't know, I feel like it's because Kingdom Hearts was so impenetrable that it kind of soured it for me. I do like the little antenna and whatnot. I mean, that's pretty cute. Like, the most basic ones are alright. I'm just being harsh on it. I'm sorry, Tetsuya Nomura. We're still cool, right? Sorry I said I didn't like your character. Oh! It faced the void, and descends unscathed. Could it unite such vast darkness? Ghost, I see you face the place of your birth, and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny, then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world's stasis, or face the heart of its infection. I'd urge you to take that harder path, but what end may come, the decision rests with you. Cool. Thank you, Hornet. Thanks for pulling us out of that worm. Unscathed. Yeah, mostly unscathed. A few cracks here and there. It'll buff out. You know, I just realized I could have taken the Stagway station down here. Ah, see what I mean? Today has been a disaster. Unmitigated disaster. Maybe it's because I didn't eat supper. I forget to eat. I'll have it after stream. Anyway, let's see. Quickest way to the Colosseum is... I guess if I go to the resting grounds and drop? Yes, am I looking at that right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ding dong. I'll have it eventually. Oh, hello, Luke. Are you here for ominous backstory? Hey, the little black mage you guys are cute too. I do like black mages. Somebody should really pick up Cornifer's business card. I'm pretty sure I'm his only customer. Let's see. So, where can I drop down from? I think to the left. I'm sure Luke has eaten enough dinner for the both of us. For several of us, in fact. Or at least he would like to. Doesn't that count? Let's see. Oh, I missed the... Not here? Huh, I guess I can't get in there yet. Hmm. Luke has learned moderation. What? Impossible. He will leave food alone if he doesn't happen to be hungry. What on earth? Maybe to the left. Am I getting turned around? I'm totally getting turned around. Whatever. Well, we haven't gone to the left here, so that's fine, I guess. Getting 
turned around in this big sprawling game. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. Oh, it's not going to let me out of the cage to get to the Colosseum, is it? Hmm. If I go to the Pleasure House, I could... Would it let me climb up here? This is fine. Gonna make this work, gonna make this work. I don't remember the most efficient route to get places. I'm sorry, I've only played through this game once, so you know you're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, I'll just attach from the other side. I think I went past it. Yeah, I can't see. He only fights the auto feeder once a week now. What? Here's a Colosseum. Screech, my adoring fans. Now that I got a nail upgrade. You're still here, huh? Hmm. He'll take Soul Catcher just so I can heal. It's a bit of a a bit of a slog. Too, I'll take this one. Yeah, hello to everybody except Zoe. Unfortunately, I don't think we can flip in the bird because we don't have any fingers. But okay, let's do this. Now that I have one nail upgrade, that's got to be enough, right? I don't think I'll attempt the other ones without additional nail upgrades because they can get long. Hello, Adoring Public! Yeah. Woo. Oh, that was a waste. That's right, use spells. Use spells. Be efficient. Use spells. And not walk into this. Just say. So glad I have a nail upgrade. Come at me, roly polies. Preferably in a nice orderly fashion. so much faster with a nail upgrade, jeez. Ugh. Worst part. Yeah, there's a nail art I really wish I had because it makes these guys a little more tolerable. Oh well. Ugh. Let's do this carefully. Why 
you make me fight these guys. Ugh. you're enjoying this performance. Sorry I'm not talking much. I gotta focus, you know? I mean, people in this game really have a problem with not cleaning up dead guys. Like, nobody's thought to do anything about the dead guy in the throne back there. You can't smell very good. Then again, I don't know how well bugs can smell. I don't know very much about bug physiology. Woohoo. Still going. Okay, it's all about the aesthetic. Okay, fine, I get it. Uh, these guys are not my aesthetic. Ah, uh, go away! Please. It is long. That's why I wanted that nail upgrade. And why I'm gonna leave off the second one until I get uh, another one, I think. Actually, I think the second one gives you pale ore. Well, whatever. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Still going, still going. Oh, you guys don't look healthy. And you explode. the shade cloak. Haha. <laughs> that was convenient. Oh. Oh, two of you guys. That's it, right? all of them? What? Oh, come on. I'm almost out of soul. Ah! to be cut down by life ender. I don't feel good about this. Come on. Come on, let me... I'll kill a thousand more. Will that be enough, father? I love your ineffectual, like, combat jumps. Oh, I'm not timing this right at all. Please, I think he has one more. Okay, never mind. Let me just put this man out of his misery. It's like juggling the sign at the end of a Sonic stage. Zote, are you okay? Of course he's okay. Go on, Kerr. Scurry away, lest I humiliate you further. <laughs> He's probably saying so many swears right now. Yeah, so it's okay. So it's okay.
There is one more thing I want to check out, although since I don't have an upgraded nail, it may be a little painful. And then, oh, I guess he's gone. And then after this, I gotta go to Dirtmouth for reasons. Very important reasons. Wow, one whole other notch. Zote has bought into his own hype so much, he will never be anything but okay. Yeah, just some dad issues, perfectly normal. Everybody has those, right? I don't think I actually have to dash. Hmm. Nowhere to go but down. Oh, somebody's busted out of their cage. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you going? Are you this way? Are you this way? No. Don't leave stars around. Ah. Terrible. I can cut him off elsewhere. This reminds me of chasing down those little guys in Splatoon 2. The little Octos with the, the helmets. Don't dig away. I don't remember what they're called. But I, I, Rue at least knows what I'm talking about, right? They got the little minor helmets and they always have a key and they always book it. Cycles I never noticed. Ugh. This guy takes a lot of hits, but I'm gonna do it. It's for good content, I promise. There we go. Got another key, woohoo. Nope. He's just dead. Can I get out the top words way? That's that's a word, top words. You know? All the kids are saying it these days, top words. Okay, let's go to Dirtmouth for one thing, and then there's something else in the sewer. Pretty sure it was in the sewer. Uh, that we can use this key on. And it's gonna be great. Let's see, what's the most efficient way I'm gonna put my compass on before I forget and then get lost and feel like an idiot? Implying that I don't feel like an idiot all the time. The Moby Dick people are talking about going this words and that words. Okay, good. So I am sharing some peculiar verbal quirks clerks with classic literature. Ergo, I am untouchable. And you can't make fun of me. Well, if you're an author, you get to make up whatever word you want, so clearly that's what I gotta do. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can actually get up to the resting grounds by jumping, though. I think I have to fall and take the elevator. Yeah. Whoosh. <laughs> Most authors don't use this power wisely. Yeah, an antonym for downwards. There you go. It's exactly what top words is. It's related to left words. I guess I should go that other direction at some point. Oh, maybe I'll do it now. Of course you're within your rights to make fun of classic literature. You just can't make fun of me. You know, I definitely don't deserve it at all, you know, to be made fun of relentlessly. Nope, not at all. Not a chance. Oh, there's that pathway beneath the graveyard that I couldn't open up. 
that I tried to punch unsuccessfully. Blue Lake. Cool. Oh, that's a neat effect. Oh, hi, Tiso. Yeah. What a calm place. It's action I want. Vicious and deadly battle. This serenity is a bore. So peaceful. So dull. Oh, you're hit at parties. That place calls to me. Somewhere beyond this lake, perhaps? Hey, you're close to the Coliseum, buddy. I just took down their champion, though. Oh. You, you guys see a little, like, orange coming at a... Uh-oh. And even worse. I really don't like the way you smack your lips. I only need two more charms, huh? Hang on. Hey, yeah. yeah. Quick focus is also good. But I don't have enough money. Oh yeah, that's definitely fine. <laughs> Thank you, Salubra. I guess I could take advantage of that and equip something else. Maybe I'll put this back on for now so I can get some more cash. Money, what is going on here? Whoa, whoa! What have you people been doing while I was away? Okay, never mind. That was apparently too close. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Let me guess, you're also going to explode? Yep. Please, I just want to get back to Dirtmouth. Well, it's infected with dragon balls. Come on, don't tell me you didn't think that too. I don't think I can actually get up to the Stagway station from here any longer. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, but I can't get through here because that's just, uh, gooped up. Oh, yeah, I can't get to the Stagway station. I guess I'm just going here now. Ugh. here? No. Our buddy spent ten minutes going Saiyan. Saiyan? See, I just... I don't know. I didn't really watch much Dragon Ball. I don't have the patience for it. I'm sorry. The fights took so long. I was gonna say I'm not a real weeb, but I would not want to be called a weeb anyway? Ah, oh, what the heck was that? Hey, there's a thing up there. I gotta detour to get the thing. That's fine, right? Ah, that is not fine. Aww. What am I doing? Usually I have good timing. Huh. Huh. I swear. See, I know everybody says Super Saiyan, but I want to pronounce it the Japanese way, which would be Saiyan. And then I get stuck between, like, how do I say it that won't get me made fun of? And there is, truthfully, no right answer to that question. That's where the hot spring is. Okay. How do you say it? Uh, see, I, I can't say that out loud without uh, have it translate. 
Uh, carry. Whoa. Can I get an umbrella here? Maybe? I would like to see our little friend here with an umbrella. That would be cute. A little leaf umbrella. You know who we haven't checked on? Well, at least you guys are fine. I was worried. Thankfully, the inspection, in, inspection, infection is not spread into the baby depository. Oh, thanks for the gross old egg. Okay, that's all the times I'm getting. Cool. Way. Serves you right. Who's that? Bretta! What are you doing? But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. Yes, Life Ender claimed another victim, and the crowd erupted into ecstatic cheering cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the key is in my personal philosophy, the 57 precepts of Zot. Particularly relevant here is the first precept, always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well... So he does recite all 57. Uh, if you guys want to hear all 57, I will do it. Great prince, so dark, so troubled. Can't believe you turned traitor on his Bretta. I came to this kingdom to fulfill a promise, and now I have succeeded. That promise I made so long ago, a promise to myself. A promise of glory, glowing for I, Zot the Mighty. I never doubted myself, never faltered, and now I have achieved everything I desired. Oh, the precepts are very good. There's just 57 of them. Heroic. Beautiful. Now, for absolutely no reason at all. He's sincerely delusional. Bretta! She got rid of the doll, she got rid of the picture of me, she freaking sold out. The Grey Prince, heaving heavy breaths, flashed from the exertion of battle. The figure emerged from the well. Triumph was his, and trophy he bore to prove it. The fearsome skull of his vanquished opponent. Startling warning he brought to the village, one that rung so true. Their white savior, thought a hero by the bugs, was a vicious beast, and the shrouded gray prince was in truth the hero deserved. With honor and humility he recounted his quest below, his epic journey of one purpose, to find her, to protect her, his gray maiden, his partner in darkness. Ah, Bretta, you sold out! Oh. Oh. I... Bretta? I'm a little concerned. Mm. Bretta? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where is this going? Terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great Prince Zout. Heck is going on here? Uh, 
Ah, uh, don't do that. Why, even the idealized dream version of Zote is clumsy. There's too much going on. Uh -huh. Hang on, I gotta try that again. But if you guys would like me to read all 57 precepts, I will do it. For you. And because they're actually really good. high enough to not get hit by that. weird clones off me. Yeah, this music is very good. I don't think he deserves it, but it's very good. Oh, no. Try one more time. It's bugging me. Man, I should get that strength charm from that weird gurgly termite. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Especially because this doesn't count as dying, so it doesn't break. Last fight if I don't take a hit right away. Ah. That was a very good idea in this respect. Oh no. Yeah, if you don't die in, if you die in a dream, you don't die in real life. That would be silly. little zotlings won't let me. Okay, do 
doing it. We're doing it. Quick slash is really good. That's not good. Kinda hoping that it wouldn't. Uh, oh, uh, rookie mistake. Uh, I'll come back. Man, this whole stream has been embarrassing. Hmm. Let's come back with a nail upgrade. Because he has a lot of hit points. And also, there's one more thing I want to try and get to. But first... Precept 2. Never let them laugh at you. Fools laugh at everything. Even at their superiors. But beware, laughter isn't harmless. Laughter spreads like a disease. And soon everyone is laughing at you. You need to strike at the source of this perverse merriment quickly to stop it from spreading. Precept 3. Always be rested. Fighting and adventuring take their toll on your body. When you rest, your body strengthens and repairs itself. The longer you rest, the stronger you become. Precept 4. Forget your past. The past is painful, and thinking about your past can only bring you misery. Think about something else instead, such as the future or some food. Precept 5. Strength beats strength. Is your opponent strong? No matter, simply overcome their strength with even more strength, and they'll soon be defeated. Precept 6. Choose your own fate. Our elders teach that our fate is chosen for us before we are even born. I disagree. Precept 7. Mourn not the dead. When we die, do things get better for us or worse? There's no way to tell, so we shouldn't bother mourning, or celebrating for that matter. Precept 8. Travel alone. You can rely on nobody, and nobody will always be loyal. Therefore, nobody should be your constant companion. Precept 9. Keep your home tidy. Your home is where you keep your most prized possession, yourself. Therefore, you should make an effort to keep it nice and clean. Precept 10. Keep your weapon sharp. I make sure that my weapon, Life Ender, is kept well sharpened at all times. This makes it much easier to cut things. Precept 11. Mothers will always betray you. This precept explains itself. So, are you okay? Precept 12. Keep your cloak dry. If your cloak gets wet, dry it as soon as you can. Wearing wet cloaks is unpleasant and can lead to illness. Precept 13. Never be afraid. Fear can only hold you back. Facing your fears can be a tremendous effort. Therefore, you should just not be afraid in the first place. Precept 14. Respect your superiors. If someone is your superior in strength or intellect or both, you need to show them your respect. Don't ignore them or laugh at them. Precept 15. One foe, one blow. You should only use a single blow to defeat an enemy. Any more is a waste. Also, by counting your blows as you fight, you'll know how many foes you've defeated. Precept 16. Don't hesitate. Once you've made a decision, carry it out and don't look back. You'll achieve much more this way. Precept 17. Believe in your strength. Others may doubt you, but there's someone you can always trust. Yourself. Make sure to believe in your own strength, and you will never falter. Precept 18. Seek truth in the darkness. This precept also explains itself. Precept 19. If you try, succeed. If you're going to attempt something, make sure you achieve it. If you do not succeed, then you have actually failed. Avoid this at all costs. Precept 20. Speak only the truth. When speaking to someone, it is courteous and also efficient to speak truthfully. Be aware, though, that speaking truthfully may make you enemies. This is something you'll have to bear. 
Precept 21. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't just walk along staring at the ground. You need to look up every so often to make sure nothing takes you by surprise. Precept 22. Abandon the nest. As soon as I could, I left my birthplace and made my way out into the world. Do not linger in the nest. There is nothing for you there. My past is horrible and my family sucks. What else sucks? Wet clothes. Precept 23. Identify the foe's weak point. Every foe you encounter has a weak point, such as a crack in their shell or being asleep. You must constantly be alert and scrutinizing your enemy to detect a weakness. Precept 24. Strike the foe's weak point. Once you have identified your foe's weak point, as per the previous precept, strike it. This will instantly destroy them. Precept 25. Protect your own weak point. Be aware that your foe will try to identify your weak point, so you must protect it. The best protection? Never having a weak point in the first place. Precept 26. Don't trust your reflection. When peering at certain shining surfaces, you may see a copy of your own face. The face will mimic your movements and seem similar to your own, but I don't think it can be trusted. So, anyway, that's half of them. If you want the other half, that's cool. Or I can show you the thing that I wanted to show you in the water rays. I definitely don't mind doing more of these because... <laughs> Get rid of the guy in the mirror. Zoat has no sense of... What do they call it when animals can recognize themselves in a mirror? Um, there's a word for it and I can't think of it. But yeah, if you guys want more of these, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna find the thing. Uh, I think I remember where it is. The last one was don't trust your reflection. Sometimes shining surfaces will have yourself in them. But don't trust them. It does kind of sound like Bafanata too, doesn't it? I'll do a couple more. I think it does save your place if you leave and come back because there's so many. Precept 27. Eat as much as you can. When having a meal, eat as much as you possibly can. This gives you extra energy and means you can eat less frequently. Precept 28. Don't peer into the darkness. If you peer into the darkness and can't see anything for too long, your mind will start to linger over old memories. Memories are to be avoided, as per Precept 4. Precept 29. Develop your sense of direction. It's easy to get lost when traveling through winding, twisting caverns. Having a good sense of direction is like having a magical map inside of your head. Very useful. Oh, I bet. Precept 30. Never accept a promise. Spurn the promises of others as they are always broken. Promises of love or betrothal are to be avoided especially. So... Precept 31. Disease lives inside of dirt. You'll get sick if you spend too much time in filthy places. If you are staying in someone else's home, demand the highest level of cleanliness from your host. Alright, I guess I should... Go to the thing that I was going to do. We'll come back, so don't worry. Those are very good. Oh, I'm going to see if I can find it. Zo, do you want to go out for bug drinks? I feel like he would spurn any attempts at inviting him out for drinks. Maybe that's just me. Okay, I think the King Station is closest. I think actually no if I go to the hidden station and go up thinking thinking no I think the King stations no the city storms is closest <gasps> oh and then I press the wrong button ha 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 I'm actually checking a map in the background to make sure I don't waste everybody's time. He would spurn you if you asked him directly, but you could trick him into it. Oh, there's you using your noggin. Say you were being imperiled by these drinks. Would he want to help you, though? And are too callow and useless to save yourself. Yeah, but he clearly doesn't hold any... Oh, dang it. Whoa, I'm getting... 
weird feedback all of a sudden. One second, everybody. you can still hear me i had to mute myself because abruptly my headphones started giving me some really wacky feedback which was bizarre it's like the universe is trying to stop me from dunking on zoe which would imply that like there's somebody in his corner in the universe which is absurd yeah i'm still getting some weird feedback i don't know why hmm uh, as long as you can still hear me, I'm gonna play a game on mute for the duration. Well, that's weird. Okay, it might be something with my headset. Give me a second. Okay, are we back? Test, test. Let me know if you can hear. That was really weird. I think unplugging it and plugging it back in fixed it. Oh, weird. <laughs> I sound like me again. That's good. Yeah, I started out of nowhere getting some really wacky, crinkly feedback on my end that was hurting my ears. I sound like Maury again. Oh, man. See, I was already nervous about the recording of this because I got chumped by Hornet like a dingus. And I got chumped by the lost kid, like a dingus. I was gonna say, I swear I'm good at this game, but I mean, I've only played through it once. And now I'm gonna have to go back to it and hear, like, my evil robot clone? Sounded like a person who is probably related to Mori, but who is not Mori. Weird. Imagine if I had, like, a twin or something. No, that would be terrible. Oh, goodbye. That would be terrible. Can you imagine two of me? There's two of me! Oh, see, this guard is not here for that. Watch the recording later and listen to my mysterious different voice. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I never got the map here, did I? Well, that's going to complicate things. I'm sure it's okay, right? Deeper. Whoa. See, I again, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Slow down and choppy. Well, wow, that's bizarre. Oh, I hear a baby. Baby detour. Where's the baby? Okay, somewhere to the left, I think. There isn't like a secret up here, is there? Well, I can hear it. What, the game is silent? Oh no! Well, what on earth? That's really weird. Hang on a second. Oh, that's right. I'm not getting any audio from the game. Uh, okay, let me sit at the bench. I'm gonna close the game and reopen it. That's really weird. Man, this whole thing has just been a disaster, huh? Uh, I guess it's probably because I uh, unplugged my microphone and then I had to plug it back in. Is it fine? Yeah, but now you can't hear the baby crying, which maybe is for the best. But this thing that I want to do, uh, you really need sound for it. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to unplug my microphone again and plug it back in. Okay, so it looks like the thing is I'm not getting desktop audio. Oh, it's fine as in regards to me calling everything a disaster. I see. Okay, um, I might have to stop the stream then, actually, because it's OBS that does this sometimes. I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe it's a sign that we should stop for the night, and I'll show you the really fun thing next time.
Still, that's a drag. I wanted to end on something cool instead of this nonsense. I have no idea what's going on. Capricious microphone. Yeah, not getting any desktop audio in OBS. Super weird. Am I saying Zote isn't cool? Zote is, I mean, I don't know if I would use cool to describe him. It doesn't seem like a strong enough adjective. Yeah, he's super cool, obviously. Technology is mysterious, but still, I wanted something good in this stream, and now, and now this is happening. But yeah, I think I'll have to stop the stream temporarily. I want to see if it fixes it, though. One sec. I'm going to stop and then come back. <laughs> 